afraid it's hard work. A lot of bitsy stuff. Cleaning, sorting, lifting. That's okay. The other things, it doesn't pay very much. How much? Sorting, lifting, cleaning. I'm afraid it doesn't pay much. That's okay, I don't mind. Are you independently wealthy? I don't know. Just kidding. Um, this seems like a nice place to work. What's your name? Karis Cook. Mom like Edward Weston? Who? Your new colleague. There's nine more boxes. You want them all up here? Yes. I'll leave you to it. You live near here? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you a serial killer? Uh huh? Rapist? What's with you? Just checking something out. Whether I'm a serial killer or a rapist? Okay, how about this? Are you gay? No. Too bad. Why? Can I stay at your place tonight? Uh, uh I, I don't... Keep your shirt on. I just got into town and I need a place to crash, not a lover. Uh... So... I guess... I really appreciate it.
What now? I just gotta get my things. That hit the spot. Where are you from? Different places. What are you, a serial killer or something? Not that I know about. I'll do the dishes. Where are you gonna sleep? I'll find a place. Anything? No. Good night. Night. Good morning. How are you doing today? What you got in the hit list? Um, let's see. Uh, a few trinkets, costume jewelry, two watches, a GPS, an iPod, and three guns. We don't sell guns. I'm just telling you what's on the stolen goods list. Leave it with me. I'll check it out. Is there anything I can help you with? You're new here. We have a new selection of books that haven't been put out yet. This one is fine. Okay, there's plenty more in case. I'll just read this one. You mean here? Sure. There's a man who wants to read one of our books in the store. That's Mr. Gabardi. He's here three or four times a week. And you just let him? He isn't going to hurt the books. Perfect.
Next time I prefer a little more cream though. Yeah, I think that's one of those pieces. Where'd you get this from? Here it is, it's Roger Phelps and Company. Let me write that number down for you. We're gonna have dinner tonight. Sorry. Still playing hard to get. How's your wife, Marsh? It's my brother's birthday tonight, and I'd really like to leave early. Tonight? Well, it's his birthday. I was hoping you would stay late, because I've got something. Sorry. Harris, I still haven't gotten your social security number. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to look it up. I do need it. Sorry. I've got to leave early today. Do you mind staying a little later? I don't mind. Here's the keys. Just turn the lights off, the heat down before you lock up. OK. Any questions? Where's the thermostat? Put it to 60 when you leave. Right. You staying over tonight? No, but thanks. Right. Have you gotten to the part where he meets Gertrude Stein yet? Way past that. You know this one? I seem to. One of the greatest, Hemingway. Don't you think? Can I ask you a question? Of course. Why do you come in here to read? You could go to the library, read, sit down. This is better. How? Well, this way, I feel like I'm getting away with something. There's a little larceny in all of us. I can't rob banks, I can't steal cars, so I do this. You saying that deep down inside you're a criminal wannabe? Aren't we all? Need anything? No, I'm good. Okay. In this case, I'm featuring local pork, broken down yesterday, very fresh, and I highly recommend our sausages made today. Looks good.
You're here early. What's up? Oh, nothing. Morning. It's too early. Did you have fun at your... Where'd you go? I'm embarrassed to say. Dinner with the detective? My 25th high school reunion. You don't look that old. I keep you around. <laughs> Morning. What are you looking at? I, I was just... Idiot foyer. Well, that is it for the day. I've got tons more to do. It is getting late. Look, why don't I just stay and lock up tonight so I can get this done? You on a roll, huh? Is that okay? You are the craziest girl. I just get into things. Lights off, heat down before we leave. Okay. Good night. Morning. Morning, boss. We've got a new shipment coming this morning. Okay. Karis, coming. I need your social security number so I can enter it into payroll. It must be the biggest dope. I'll have it by tomorrow, I promise. See what you do. You mind if I work late tonight? What is with you, girl? I just get into things. It's a funny thing to get into. You're into it, aren't you? Just don't burn yourself out. I won't. I just wanted to say... I accept your apology. I didn't apologize. You will.
for you. Very sweet. For you, young lady. Thank you. I stole it. You. From a flower shop. They had them all out in front, and when they weren't looking... Your inner criminal. I feel so good. I can't receive stolen goods. You're taking away all the fun. Well... You're going to make me confess. You just did confess. I lied. I paid for the flowers. Well then, thank you. Taking all the joy out of it. I got my social security number for you. It's about time. Listen, there's something very important I want you to do. Sure, anything you need. I want you to find a chair, sit down, and read a book. How are you today? OK. You want a cup of coffee? Is that by way of an apology? What do I have to apologize for? For spying on me. Let me tell you something. I was just doing my job, and then I come across this girl. Like a little girl trying on her mother's clothes. And I was stunned. Just stunned. And I'm sorry I was stunned. That's as close to an apology as you're going to get. Very pretty. I accept. Were you here last night? For a time, why? There's been a few break-ins, and I noticed some marks on the back door of the store. Uh, did you see or hear anything? Did you catch whoever it was? Not yet. So? I didn't hear anything when I was here. I think you should put in some security around here. Did you have some trouble last night? I think maybe someone tried to get in. I didn't want to tell that police guy until I could tell you. How come? So you could play it your way, not his. Very considerate. I'll come back. Best not to take any chances. Want some company tonight? Uh. I'll cook. Okay. But I'm not staying over. Suit yourself. Where'd you learn to cook? I can't remember. Did your mom teach you? I don't want to talk about myself. Well, what's the big secret? Nothing. Did you just get out of jail or something? 
Maybe. <sighs> what do you mean, maybe? You just got out of jail, you'd know it. What's with you, anyway? I don't know what's with me. Huh? I can't remember what's with me. I'm not tracking what you're saying. I can't remember. I can't remember anything before I got to this town. I just found myself walking around. Nothing before that. Absolutely nothing. Mm, you have amnesia. I guess that's what I've got. I don't know who I am or where I'm from. If I have parents, brothers, sisters. I don't know if I went to college or was in the army. Just blank. And your name's not really Karis Cook? I don't know what my real name is. I don't know what my real anything is. Well, why don't you get help? Go to the police. I mean, maybe somebody's looking for you. I want to get to know myself first before I find a name that won't mean anything to me. I need to play this my way. You can't tell anyone. Okay. I mean no one, not Tiffany, not anyone. Okay. Tiffany here? I'll see. That police guy's here. New look. Here's the list. A Fender Stratocaster vintage guitar, a set of crystal wine glasses, a copper brass figural Leave me list. Want to hear the news? Sure. Jane and I are separated. I moved out last week. Oh. Just so you know. Yeah, I know. Now you know. You okay? Oh, yeah. Have you seen Mr. Gabardi recently? Now that you mention it, no. I wonder if he's okay. Maybe he's on vacation. Maybe. Want some advice? Did you put up the winter coats? Marsh? Yeah. We're just old friends. I heard you two used to be an item. Small town. And that he left you for the woman he married. Really small town. What else did you hear? Just be careful around that guy. I, I have a bad feeling. <sighs> Anything else? The coats are up.
Have you seen Mr. Gabardi around? Uh, no. When was the last time you saw him? Um, I guess a couple weeks. I'm not really sure. What you doing? Looking up an address. You wanna go to lunch? I read this thing on memory loss, and I think you should go to a doctor at least. See if you have brain damage or something. You think I have brain damage? Well, I can't tell by looking at you. I can't tell by looking at you if you have brain damage. Maybe you should go to a doctor. Forget I said anything. I know you mean well. You're always asking questions about me. What about you? Me? Nothing much, I guess. You want to work at a store forever? I just take it as it comes. Did you go to school? Yes. Where? Vermont Community College. What'd you major in? Administrative management. What's that? Well, you learn how to run things, like stores and things. Is that what you want to do? Have a store? Maybe. You don't sound very definite. Well, I don't like to think about the future very much. Why not? I guess just because I'm okay right now. You don't have any great ambition? Or... No. And I know that should be wrong. Is it? That's what people tell me. How do you feel about that? Guilty. Why? Well, because there's this thing that I'm supposed to want. And I can't see it. Maybe you just don't want too much. Maybe. What do you want? Something. I don't know what it is. Something, though. I can almost taste it. Something that's mine and no one else's, and no one can say anything about it. We should get back to work. Guess what? What? I'm all set up in my new apartment. Look, Marsh. Look yourself. Uh, I just called. You're just lonely. That's all. It has nothing to do with me. Uh, that's where you're wrong. It has everything to do with you. Let's not start. Did I ever apologize for leaving you? I, I don't need an apology. Well, I'm going to give you one anyway. Are you drunk? No, I had a few beers. I'm getting off the phone now. Wait, before you do, I just wanted to say. This is a surprise. Why don't you come in? Let me take it your home. We haven't seen you at the store, so I just thought I'd check on you. 
check on me? You thought I was dead or something? Yeah, that you were just lying there, and people didn't know where the smell was coming from, so they kicked in the door, and there you were. OK, enough. <laughs> so why haven't we seen you? I, I've been sick. Sorry to hear. Just feeling a little better today. Is there anything I can get you, make you something, chicken soup? Why don't you sit down? Is this? This is you. Yeah, well, it was me. You're a musician. And a music director. Leslie Uggams. Joan Rivers. Is that your wife? No. Carol Channing. Juliet Prowse. Are these people famous? We all were. That was a long time ago. You've had quite a past. Everyone's got a past. It's whether you've got a future that counts. What's your rat's name? Miles. I'm going to make you some tea. I hate tea. What do you want, then? Why don't you sit down, kid? You look terrible. Thanks. No, really. No, really. Thanks. How come? I, I've been ill. That's not what I mean. You look sad. How do I look now? Sad with a stupid grin on your face. I give up. Really? What? Giving up. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to explain to a 20-something. Life gets. You want some tea? I hate tea. I brought you something. Oh. We need it back when you're through with it. Hi. I got a set of antique baseball cards. Eddie Collins, second base. Uh, there's Charlie uh, Getswitch. He's a pitcher from Detroit Wolverines. Tex Irwin, catcher from Brooklyn Dodgers. I got Eddie Collins, second base. And it's an autographed Cy Young. It's pretty pricey stuff. Yeah, the Cy Young alone is worth about 2,000 bucks or more. More. I'll just leave this with you. Anything else? Would you excuse us for a minute? Sure. I mean, leave us alone. Give us a minute. Oh. I just, um... Don't get started. OK. Just know that I think about you a lot. I'm kind of busy. See ya. Can you at least tell me where you're taking me? I want it to be a surprise.
It's a bank. I can see. What are we doing here? We're casing the joint. Once we're inside, see where the hidden cameras are. If they're hidden, how can I see them? Use your imagination. That time we went to Cambridge, the time I bought you that sexy black dress. I remember a lot of things. I told you I was sorry. I don't want to be on the phone with you. So when I asked him, he said he was driving his own car and didn't realize he was driving a stolen car. Isn't that lame or what? She's really quite cute. Good kid. You know what she did today? Tell me. She sorted 60 thimbles in order of color, size, and shape. That is a tedious job. You really like her. Look, uh, I don't want to be talking to you. You need someone to talk to, share your day, chat with. But I don't want that to be you. I don't blame you. So you're doing reverse psychology on me now? How come you can always see right through me? Not always. Not when I needed to. Want me to apologize again? I'm getting off the phone now. Okay, it's time to get up. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Don't you go home at night? This is my home. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm sure you need an explanation. What, you didn't have a place to live, so you moved in here? Yeah, that's about it. You want to fire me. Should I? I hope you don't. Why? Because I want to work here with you and Brian. Well, you can't stay here. I'll get in trouble. I'm zoned only for commercial purposes. I didn't mean to put you in jeopardy. I should be mad at you. Yes. Don't you have enough money to find a place of your own? If I did, I wouldn't be staying here. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. I've got an office sitting in my house with a pull-out couch. You can stay there until you find another place to live. I don't know how to think. 
Thank you. Just clean up this mess. I'll see you upstairs. Baby, you, you can't just sit here all day like oh, this. Oh, I've got to get dinner ready. So here's how it works. You just pull. And there you go. The towels are in the bathroom, and I know it's kind of small. That's perfect. Hello? Who's this? Karis. Who's this? Is Tiffany there? No, she's on a date. What? She won't be back until I'd try her tomorrow morning. I'm here. What's her game? She's trying to protect me from you. What's up? So, I think there were two guards. One here, and then one just about here. So, we'll have Nino and Alfonso come in without their masks on. How come they're Italians? To stay with tradition. Everyone knows the best bank robbers were Irish. I thought Italians were best at crime. When it's organized. You ever hear of a great Italian bank robber? So we have Sean and Murphy come in. And then I come in pretending to want to cash a check. And you put your mask on, and then the boys take out their guns, and I scream, it's a hold up! It's a bit corny. You should faint. You know, don't say anything. Just drop right on the floor. Okay. Who's driving a getaway car? Guido. I mean, O'Reilly. Yeah, he's good. You need a good getaway man. And then we'll meet up at the hideout about an hour later. What do you think? Needs work. Got a problem. Do I? The social security number that Karis gave you is false. What are you doing checking on things like that? My job. Her name is false too. There are about 80 Karis cooks in America, and none of them are her. I don't know what to say. We better fix this. You'll be in trouble with the feds. According to the law, you've got five days to report a false social security number.
So you don't know anything about yourself? I don't want to cause you any trouble. You're the one who's in trouble. What do you want me to do? Detective Marsh sent me? Come on in. Our machine is broken. We're going to have to use the old-fashioned method today. Parents in here, you ready to see them? You gotta face it sometime. Oh, Megan. Is that my name? You better sit down and I'll leave you alone. How are you? Okay. Oh, Megan. You need to know, I don't know who you are. I'm your mother, he's your father, we're your parents. I don't remember you. We love you. I don't know you. Okay, you don't know us now, but with time, we'll get the best doctors, the best therapies. Do I have a say in this? Sure, of course. Then I don't want to rush into anything. I, I have a life here. You can't just come in and say your life is over because of something I can't remember. We're your family. Probably you are, but I don't know if I want you to be my family. Megan. I'm sorry to hurt you. We're trying to understand. Can I ask you a favor? Sure, anything. I need my social security number. No problem. And one last thing. For the time being, please call me Karis. But your name is Megan.
Well, there's no physiologic damage, and you don't have problems with headaches or dizzy spells. No. That's good. I can't see anything wrong. I could order an MRI brain scan, but I don't think that that's necessary. Is your appetite good? Yeah. Well, that's all I can do on my end. Nice to get out of town for a little while. What are you thinking? Imagine you were just born, but they were fully grown. No past, just present. Okay. And suddenly, out of nowhere, I'll have the tuna salad. All right. Same for me. What do you want, Megan? I mean, uh, Karis? Specials look good. I think I'll have the grilled cheese with tomatoes. OK, would you like that with graft and cheddar cheese? Sure. OK, thank you. He used to hate grilled cheese. Did I? Have you given any thought to what you want to do next? You could come home with us. You'd be living in a nice house, car, Number of credit cards. See your friends. Get the help you really need. After all, we do live in Princeton. That's what you always loved. You could think about going back to school, maybe getting a job. Dad could set you up. Throw a wash day in a nothing town, doing less than minimum wage in a used junk store. What do you know about me? We know you're all history. We've known you since you were a little girl. You're just going through a rough spot in your life, that's all. Don't take it too seriously. Everything always works out for the best. Can you excuse me for a second? Thanks so much for driving me to Boston. Well, that's no problem. I got some friends I wanted to see while I'm down here anyway. So who's this doctor? My parents found her. Dr. Lillian Scharf, neurologist, psychiatrist, author of over 20 books on memory loss, graduated summa cum laude from Harvard, where she teaches, et cetera, et cetera. Sounds expensive. My parents are paying. Must be nice to have rich parents.
No headaches? No. That's good. Uh, look around the room and tell me what you see. The chair you're sitting in, desk, phone, pictures on the wall, fireplace. What do you remember? Liking music, I guess, but that's about it. Hmm. Do you remember being near anything electrical? What do you mean? Something that would have had a high charge. I can't. Nothing comes to mind. That's OK. Um, how old are you? I'm not sure, but my parents tell me I'm 23. How do you feel about them? I don't know who they are. I see. What can you tell by having me describe the room? How you think. What do you mean? Hmm. There are lots of ways to describe something. Some people describe details in an obsessive way and not mention the actual object. Some people are overly vague. You describe things in patterns and overall shapes. That tells me that you have a good grasp on reality. That reinforces a diagnosis that there is no physiological or psychopathological damage. So I'm looking at retrograde memory loss without brain damage. The usual cause for that is an electric shock, such as in the type of shock treatment they did in the 1950s. Now you went to a rock concert, and that's the last time people saw you before your memory loss. I would guess, and it's only a guess, that you got too close to a power source at that concert. How did I end up in Vermont? We don't know. Do you have any memory of getting a ride, traveling, anything? Nothing. That's OK. Um, sometimes the memory comes back. Sometimes. Does that mean sometimes it doesn't? Sometimes it doesn't. So what'd she say? She thinks I got electric shock at a rock concert, and that's how I lost my memory. So now what? I don't know. What about you? What about me? You and the detective. You're not supposed to know that. <laughs> How can I not know what I know? We're exploring. OK. We'll see. OK. You can't think this is serious. Can't I? Here's this very creative guy, bored out of his mind, wasting away. Bank robbery is a felony. It's 25 to life. Did he rob a bank? Not yet. Is it a crime to plan to rob a bank? It would be considered attempted bank robbery if the person attempts to commit the offense, does some kind of act towards the commission of it. Then he'd actually have to plan to rob the bank. We were just playing a game. So what were you guys up to? Saving his life. <laughs> stay out of trouble. They took me seriously. They thought I could actually be a bank robber. How do you like that? I don't think you're taking this quite the right way. When I was a kid, they had uh, real marshmallow on Sundays. What's that? It's this white, sticky kind of stuff they put on Sundays instead of this whipped cream. Uh-huh. Something bothering you? No. 
And your mom and you getting along? You know how it is. Why do you think I left? I thought you had a girlfriend. No, that was later. Anyway, how's school? Boring. That's because you're so smart. Yeah, I guess. That's what mom says. Well then, we all agree for once. You're gonna hate me. Never. Yeah, you will. Mm, what's up? I want you to come home. That's not gonna work. I hear mom crying at night when she thinks I'm asleep. And that's no reason. Aren't I a good reason? Do that. I know. Hello? No, I, I understand. You okay? Marsh? His daughter misses him. Tiffany, I'm so sorry. I think I'll go get drunk.
We need to find a guy for Tiffany. Huh? A good guy. I thought she and the detective. He went back to his wife. Oh, crap. So this guy needs to be good looking, smart, funny, nice, and crazy about Tiffany. How? Let's get online. This one. Oh, and this is your best friend in high school, Martha Jennings. She went on to become a math teacher. Nice girl. Oh, yeah, this one. Look at this. Anything coming back? No. Give it time. And this was Christmas a few years back when your Aunt Helen came from South Africa. Is that where she lives? For 12 years now. Interesting. You'd like her. She's the black sheep of the family. What makes you say that? You had a pretty intense rebellious period. Good for me. When was the last time you saw me? You were headed off for a rock concert, and you just didn't come home. We called all your friends. No one knew we what We did everything to you. we could think of to find you. Yeah, everything. We hired a private detective. Wow. What did he find? Nothing useful. We all traced you to the concert, but after that, nothing. Do you remember how much you love music? I still love it. Oh, so then you haven't forgotten everything. Who knows? This guy looks nice. Yeah. How about him? No way. It's maybe harder than we thought. Well, you can't just order a boyfriend like you would a pizza. You hungry? Yeah. How are things going with your parents? They keep staying around, hoping I'll go home with them. Maybe you want to. You think? Why? Well, they love you, I guess. I know they mean well, but... We should get back to work. Stop there for a second. What? Why'd you do that? Just checking something out. I want you to take a look at something. What? That guy is perfect for Tiffany. Go find out if he's single. How am I going to do that? Figure it out. Go, go. Can I help you? Mm, no, not really. We have some things that make great gifts for a wife or girlfriend. Uh, I'm not really interested in something like that. OK. Well, let me know if you need anything. OK, thanks. You might be single. You're not sure? No. Can I help you with anything? I don't think so. You look so familiar. Are you from around here? Yes, I'm from town. What's your name? Clay. What's yours? Karis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you know Tiffany? No, I don't think I do. Oh, she's the woman that runs the store. Well, if you're from around here, you really should know her. She's amazing. Why don't you look around? I'll go find her. OK. Who's that? A really old friend of mine. Hi. Hi. I understand you're a good friend of Karis's. Who? Me. We just met. What are you up to? I'm afraid my little assistant was trying her hand at matchmaking.
Do I spend time? This is Brian speaking. One moment, please. Karis, it's your father. Hello? What are you up to? Crime. Oh? Yeah, I've got this great plot for a bank job. You're not going to. I'm writing a novel. Perfect. They're all Irish, except for the big boss, who happens to be Italian. At least they're all Catholic. They could go to confession together. That's an idea I might use. You want something? Coffee? No, thanks. I'm just checking on you. Isn't that nice? How does it feel to have a past? Oh, a little bittersweet, but at least... What? It was something. I'm trying to remember, but the memories are so dim. Like the story has ended. Okay. Hmm. Are you okay? Just a little confused. About? I'm looking at these pictures and it's obviously me. I could tell that it's me, but it doesn't feel like me. You know what I think? What? I like you just the way you are. Really? So we're going off tomorrow. Have you thought about coming home? I've thought about it. And? I haven't made up my mind. No matter what you decide, you'll always have a home to go to. Thank you. How are you going to decide? 
Like I said, I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm not asking what you'll actually decide, but how are you going to make that decision? How are you thinking about it? How should I think about it? You should do what you feel is in your own best interest. Whatever you decide will support it. You need to know this is hard for us. Uh, we love you. We thought we lost you, and then we had the miracle of finding you again. But then, now we've lost you again. We know it's hard for you, too. There are these people who you think are strangers trying to impose themselves in your life. Everything will work out for the best. Hi. Don't wait up for me. What time am I supposed to get here? Around 10 or so. Might be nice. Yeah. What time are they coming? In a little while. I think you're doing the right thing. You do? If I was you, I'd do the same thing. Thank you for everything. I just can't. I, I can't go. I thought I could, but I can't. I'm sorry. Are you sure? Can I ask you a favor? Not gonna get rid of me as easily as you thought. Welcome home. You need anything? Yeah. What? You. I need you too. Really? Really? You want some company tonight? I'll cook. You staying over? We'll see. i 
story is ended before it even begins. I walk with my heart untied, searching for a sign. A second chance has come now. A brand new day. Twice upon a time Maybe I've been here Maybe I know you But I can't tell It's all I had now Cause there's nowhere to run Away from Second chance A second chance has come now A brand new day to make mine And though I didn't plan this I know I'm gonna be alright A second chance